hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel ah uh, i can't believe i've sucked myself into this algorithm of youtube where i am now <laughs> commenting on topical issues commenting on what's currently happening but here i am having to talk about jamie and nikki because what i will not stand for is the slander of black women like i will always have a black woman's back even when she does wrong i will back her up first especially when it comes to a white man because firstly i do not condone violence by any means domestic violence whether it comes from a man or a woman is completely wrong a hundred percent wrong and by no means should we support it however why is jamie bringing it up now why didn't Jamie bring this up a few years ago when he was getting all of that negative attention and the negative publicity? Why did Jamie not speak up on the abuse back then? Was he maybe getting a lot of views because of, because of the sensational stories that were going around about him? Or did it not matter to him then? Why is he now airing out all of these things that happened between him and Nikki and I feel like the video didn't need to be a minute and well a minute it didn't need to be an hour and a half long like why did we have to watch a whole movie of a white man busy complaining about having to go work because I don't understand how you can want to be a husband be a provider and then when you have to do those things when you have to provide you have to care you're complaining about it was Nikki not in school when you got with her? Like, why didn't you allow her to finish school and then propose and then have kids? I mean, then propose, get married, and then have children. Like, why did you decide to marry someone so young in their career? Let's think about that. Secondly, this is another Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. And I need everyone to keep their eyes open and not fall for the misinformation. Because the stories that Jamie are painting of Nikki seem very curated, well thought out, well planned. The screenshots, the receipts, everything that he has. I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. But what did you do as well? Not to victim blame in the sense of, okay, but what did you do to cause this? But I'm saying is... In every relationship, we all do wrongs. No one is perfect in a relationship. As much as one partner might do something wrong, another partner possibly might have their own flaws and problems. What were your problems, Jamie? Because I am speaking now as an um as an as as person who just viewed their videos. I wasn't obviously part of their lives, but from what I saw, Nikki was always cleaning, she was always looking after the household. And that counts for something. We can't dismiss that and say, oh, Nikki wasn't contributing to the household. Jamie was working his hardest, having multiple jobs while Nikki wasn't working. Yeah, but she was running the household. Or were you coming from work and cooking and cleaning as well? Or was there somewhere else, someone else doing it? I feel like as a people, we've become too comfortable with overlooking the roles that women play in the household when it comes to managing the household looking after the children and just make sure everything runs and you know how this is overlooked look at how the quality of lives of men change significantly when women leave them as soon as a woman leaves the houses fall down the houses fall down they break apart it just crumbles it just shows the importance of having not having but the importance of women and the value that they bring into a household and why they should be fairly compensated for that as well like nikki should have been compensated for being a housewife as well and then you are going off about how she's trying to ruin your youtube career but i feel like you ruined your youtube career because you didn't have a youtube career you had one collectively with your family and when your family broke apart i think that's that's one thing you should have also considered that in breaking up your means of income is going to change so what did you think was going to happen you know like it was definitely going to change we were tuning in to see nikki not necessarily jamie not that there's anything wrong with jamie but like why am i tuning in to watch like a white man i don't know talk about what you know like a lot of people who were watching your content were women so we connected with nikki 
I'm assuming it's a lot of women because of how the views have dropped. And then for him to feel so sad about not being able to use his children in his videos, for me, that was like, mmm. Mm -mm. Cause Jamie started off the video by saying everything he's gonna talk about is not to direct hate towards Nikki, but support for himself. He wanted people to support him. So basically, Jamie was saying, "I'm not making as much money as I used to make. You guys need to help me because right now I am driving Uber. I still live in my three-bedroom apartment with a jacuzzi, and I'm still driving a BMW. But I need you guys to finance this life." A bit more because i'm not living as luxurious as i used to live why doesn't jamie just downgrade his life sell your bmw get a two-bedroom apartment and let's keep it moving you can pivot you're a great editor like jamie is such a great editor why are you not editing for big brands big companies that you actually work with that you have existing relationships for like can you not maybe try and like get a job there and i feel like if it requires for you to move, move. No one is asking you to put your dreams on hold. I feel like people do this a lot where they use their children as an excuse. And women have been doing this for a long time. Not using their children as an excuse, but delaying their dreams. And they don't complain. But here you are as a man who willingly decided to have a child. Then you use that very child to say, no, I've had to put my dreams on hold. What about Nikki who didn't even graduate from nursing school to my knowledge? I don't think she finished nursing school. What about her? Did she not put her dreams on hold as well? So I do feel like it's a bit fa unfair, the stuff that he said. It sounds very biased towards him and how he's trying to, you know, build this narrative. I feel like Jamie just needs to cut his losses and realize, you know what? This family channel content is not going to work for me time for me to pivot let's get to know jamie more you know share more about your life share more about your own interests yes you might not make as many views as you used to do initially but you can build an audience you've built an audience before you can do it again it's so hard for me to feel sorry for white men because i'm just like the world is your oyster and this is your best this is literally your best right now a white man the most privileged person walking this earth right now that's you a white man so it's, it's, it's hard for us to feel sorry for jamie i don't understand why he did what he did to just try and paint nikki so badly uh, i didn't appreciate it and especially in the world that we live in where black women are so easily demonized so easily seen as evil and wrong we should be very, very careful how we go about trying to portray people. And Nikki's situation for me is so much more complex and painful because one, she got with Jamie when she was young. He was older. He knew better. Nikki also evaded war. She literally evaded war to start a life. And her family has just done so, so much. Like, when I see that family, I'm just so proud. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys have accomplished so much. So I don't understand why Jamie is acting like Nikki didn't work hard for anything. Like Nikki just looked beautiful all the way and did nothing. No, Nikki used her energy. She used her presence to lure us into your family. Not lure, but <laughs> attract us into your family. The content you guys were pushing out. Like we were watching because of her. She like had this amazing personality. She was funny. She's beautiful. We watched her. Like let's not be unfair right now and dismiss her and speak as if like she didn't do anything. She was the talent. That is still a job. You still need the talent. So to say Nikki didn't do anything, I wasn't there, but I still don't believe it. I don't believe it. And again, I don't condone the violence. Like, violence is not okay, but I feel like we should be very careful before rushing into demonizing someone, especially when it comes to relationships and seeing how people just use their children as props to get the things that they want. Like, that is questionable. That is suspect. I, I don't think it's okay. So yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this Jamie and Nikki situation? Like, I have so many thoughts, but I also want to be, like, politically correct. And also check myself on being biased because I always stand with a woman. Before I stand with a man, I stand with a woman because I'm from South Africa 
where we have the highest gender-based violence stats so men are always trying to go out of their way to harm us we saw this amazing twitter thread that they put out so i'm always quick to the defense of women and even this time around i feel like i'm not saying nikki was innocent but i'm saying jamie you are not innocent as well i do not think you are painting the story to what it truly is and i think you're just looking for people's sympathy so that we can watch your videos so that you can continue living a luxurious life as a youtuber and that's not feasible like we're living in a cost of living crisis like things will change pivot or you have to like downgrade your life and it's not the worst thing at all because you've got options there's people who literally have no options at all so yeah i think we need to be very very careful <laughs> of the content that people put out there and it's just crazy to see these youtubers we love so much and i think we saw them in such a different lens where we didn't see them as complex people who have their own lives like we were just focusing on just the beauty that they were sharing but these people lived normal relationships they fought like any other couple and now it's playing out on the internet and it's just like wow yeah we wanted to see this but we actually didn't want to see this i don't want to see these people fight i don't want to see just the usage of black people to make money because i feel like jamie does that he just wants to keep creating content of a white man busy doing black girl's hair and showing black women how to, he can, not black women, but showing the world like, oh my gosh, I know how to take care of black women's hair. These children have a black mother. We know she's taking care of their hair. Like, why are you trying to like, I, I, I don't know, like enjoy your children in private. I think this is the best thing you guys have decided on to take your children off of the internet. We don't need to know this. I remember when Ava had her birthday, not Ava, when Zoe, like guys, I've been watching Jamie and Nikki for a long time, since like 2015. So when Zoe, no, when Ava had her first birthday, Zoe was just like being a toddler and just like huddling over the baby. And then people online were commenting like, oh my gosh, Zoe's a lot. Like, why is she doing that? It's her sister's birthday and stuff. And then Jamie and Nikki had to even respond to that saying that, zoe is just a child i think she was just like five years old or even younger and she was saying that she's just a child he doesn't know you know it's Zoe's special day like she just wanted to celebrate her sister she just wanted to also like be the sense of attention like any other child so after seeing that i completely understand why nikki would say less children con less of the children's content or less of the children online like keep your children safe i don't understand why jamie is upset about this i feel like it exposes his motives it exposes what actually matters to him his ego his the way people perceive him and his pockets and i feel like right now it's not about that it's supposed to be about the children youtube will always be there you can talk about your own life you can talk about your personal things you've got 1.7 million followers i think you can do something with that there's really something that can be done and you can pivot like there's so many things we would love to learn from jamie like his usage of music in his youtube videos how he edits he used to take pictures of musicians how he got into that like there's so many things from jamie that are so interesting that i feel like it's content he can actually use for his platform yes pivoting is going to have you lose followers but eventually you will gain the right audience again yeah oh i'm a social media professional for those who don't know i actually am qualified in social media i also am qualified in digital marketing i'm a literal professional communications person so that's why i'm just like not understanding jamie's situation where the things that you can actually do when you have a platform like that he even spoke about having a youtube coach why don't you use that youtube coach to help you then pivot your career or pivot the content that you make so yeah i don't know if he has a youtube coach but he said any youtube coach would, would tell you that so he has an understanding i think it's just him looking for a bit of pity and he sounds manipulative so yeah 
I'm kind of cautious on the story. I think I don't want to pick sides just yet, even though I might have, because I'm always going to side with a woman. We'll hear if Nikki ever speaks up. I don't even think Nikki should respond to this. Yeah, like, mm -mm. but she should. I guess there's certain things that she can explain herself when it comes to, like, the abuse allegations. But at the same time, if you're not charging me for it, then why are we talking about it? Like, why are we talking about it? Yeah, interesting times we live in. Interesting times. I can't believe we're here witnessing Jamie and Nikki breaking up again. Because that was like, what? When it happened? And now it's like, what? Again? So, yeah. How do you guys feel about it?